top of the food chain, with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap now, but it's a mess, it's a rap. Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Pursuit, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an epic lower third transition, and it's gonna be like animated, and it's like an electric explosion style, and it looks really cool. I've just recently uh, started to use it in my YouTube videos, and you guys have been asking how to make it, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. It's really, really easy, all you need um, is an editing software and um, I'll provide the links to what we will be using in the description um, so that'll be just the images and the sound effects so if you guys do enjoy this video hit the like button down below uh, can we break 250 likes in this video this, that would be amazing subscribe if you are new and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next and let's just get straight into it Right guys, so we're here in Photoshop so you want to have a 1280 by 720 document open we've got the rulers in the middle, if you don't know what the rules, how to get the rules up, just press Control R and then drag them and they'll snap into the middle. Um, so we're going to make the lower third um, and we want the background, you can choose whatever background colour you want. I'm going to choose, well mine are blue, I might choose purple this time around. Um, so you just want to make just a rectangle in the middle, like so. And what we're going to do is hold Control Shift and we're going to make the top part a bit slanted and then put it back in the middle that looks pretty nice so the next thing we are going to do is go to file place and these will be in the description guys so don't worry it's basically just a little overlay thing that I've got I've got some of these and these are going to go over the top so this one right here rasterize uh, lighten or screen both it doesn't really matter and then you want to make it the color that you're using so I'm using purple so something like that that's quite cool and then I'm gonna go to file place and do the same thing but with this one right here rasterize screen make it purple and I'll put it like something like that. I'll put it there. And then what you want to do is group all that together, like so. In fact, go to the rectangle tool, add a new layer, go to create clipping mask, and then add some white spots and change that to overlay. And then add another one, create clipping mask, make it purple, or whatever colour you've been using. And then you just want to click in each corner and go to colour dodge and bring down the opacity. Nice. And then what you want to do is we're going to add some text. And you can put whatever you want in this. I'm just going to put subscribe in all capitals. And the font I'll be using is called. One second. The font is called Hemihead. It's a really cool futuristic type font and I think it goes really well with what we're doing right now. So yeah, if you guys don't have it, make sure you go download it. It's called Hemihead. I did do a video of it, um, top 10 best fonts, and this was this one was in it. I'm just gonna hold control shift and make it a bit slanted as well. And yeah. That is about it for that. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to group it all together. Control J, Control E to merge. In fact, let me do that again. I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to merge the rectangle and the two um, clipping masks and merge it, then press Control J to duplicate. And then the one below, use the arrow keys and you want to bring it below and then press Ctrl -Y U and make it darker. So it gives it like a little 3D effect and it looks really nice. You want to make sure that the two um, overlays are masked as well. So yeah, that looks really nice. Now you want to remove the white background, make sure it's transparent and then bring it to the bottom where you, this is basically where you want it on 
your YouTube video, so I want it at the bottom left, about that size, and that looks really nice. Then you just want to go to save for web, save it wherever you want, I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And then you want to go over to your editing software and add a video of uh, yourself, where, well, wherever you're, you just need to add a video of your like yourself just one of your normal videos and then add this and basically put wherever you want it to pop up so I'm not just I'm just gonna animate it myself I'm not gonna have a video behind it so let's say we want it here it's at the bottom left as we put it and now this is where you add the transitions so this will be in the description as well the transition I'll be using is electric and it'll be, I think, I've got a pack with all of them and it looks really sick. I just need to find which one it actually was. I don't think it really matters. I'll just choose a random one. And then this will be in the description, guys. I'll use this one right here. And obviously it's blue, so you want to make sure it's the same colour as the colour of your lower third. So I'm going to go to Video Effects on Sony Vegas. This will probably be the same for any editing software. You want to go to Hue and Saturation Adjust drag it onto your thing, your electric, and then make sure it's the same colour, like so. Then you just want to go to the pan and crop, oh no, first before you do that, make sure the effect is on lighting, and then you want to make sure it's over the top of your lower third. I think screen's probably better. Yeah. And you just want to put it over the top of your thing. And then when you play it back, it should come in like so. Bang. It looks really, really nice. Obviously there won't be this box when you've got your YouTube video below it and it'll just be transparent but because I've not got a video below it, it just looks like that but yeah, it just pops in like that it looks really nice and I've also got an electric sound effect that you guys can use uh, that will be in the description as well you just want to put that in as well Like so, so it should look something like that. That looks really nice in your YouTube videos. And yeah, that's about it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, let's just see it one more time. That's pretty sick. And then if you want it to fade off, you can do. I just added in the fade at the end. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.